Hi Mike here from Supreme Gadgets, hope you're all having a great day. Now today we have an unboxing of the Apple Watch. Yes, we have finally received ours here at Supreme Gadgets. It was released last Friday um, and my delivery date was between the um, 24th of April and the 8th of May. So I wasn't sure in within that time frame when I'd actually receive it, but I've received it today. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. Well, just before we do that, we'll just have a quick look at the actual uh, box itself. So it's the actual Apple Watch Sport. I didn't want to go really expensive and get anything more than that. 38 millimeter case, and it's the space gray aluminium finish. Uh, with black sports band. So if I just undo the box, it is quite a long box. If I just undo the box, get that up. And then inside the box, we have this, which is actually the, the case that the watch itself lives in. If the uh, camera will actually uh, focus. So I just put that to one side underneath that, we have designed by Apple in California. So we just take that out. This is the actual stuff that uh, instructions probably. Slide that out. So we've got Apple Watch there. Just telling you how to use it. So I'll just zoom out a little bit if I can. There you So just telling you how to actually use the watch itself, how to charge it, and the description of some of the features, functions, if I can get it the right way around. Just a description of some of the functions. So we've got the, the watch itself, apps, messages, um, glances, activity, friends, passbook, and force touch. I'll just pop that to one side. <laughs> got some legal information there but no Apple stickers no Apple stickers which is a shame it's classed as an iPhone accessory this so you don't get any Apple stickers with it here we are this is the sports band or part of the sports band not quite sure where the other part is yet but we'll find out and then we have the charging stuff inside so there's the actual charger the magnetic charger and because it isn't the Apple Watch edition, you don't get the uh, metal finish on the charger, it's just the standard plastic finish. I can just undo this. So there's the actual charger, magnetic charger there, and USB cable there. Quite a long cable, so I'll pop that to one side. And then we've got the power brick there, which I think is probably similar to the actual power brick for the iPhone. If I can just undo this. Maybe not. No, there it is. That's the transformer and USB port at the bottom. Obviously, it's the UK 3 pin plug. Right, so let's get into the main feature now, and this is the actual Apple Watch box itself. So we'll just tear the packaging off it, if I can. Oh, there we are, I've got a little lip there, so we'll just tear that off. There. Pull the plastic off, and there's the case. And I'll open it up, and there is the Apple Watch. It'll padded and you've got the Apple Watch Sport just in bossed in the top of the case there. And that's the watch. Yeah. So we've got the, uh, the strap and I suppose that's just an extended, yeah, that's the longer strap if you want the longer one and rather than the shorter one. As you can see, it's all in space gray. quick tour of the watch itself we've got the uh, little crown there and the button and the screen itself and on the back we've just got that little bit of tape there and then 
that is the watch strap which will probably go round I'm not sure quite how it fits round <laughs> it will take a bit of time probably to get used to but uh, I'll try it on my wrist in a bit and, and we'll get it sorted and I'll show you shortly what it looks like let's just see if we can power it up hopefully oh there we are you can see the little apple logos come up on the screen and finally we've actually got the uh, device working so we've got English UK English there just tap on that select language to UK English so yep setting language oh, there we are and then we've got to actually pair it with the Apple watch itself so I'll just go and get my sorry the iPhone rather so I'll just go and get the iPhone back in a second okay so I've got my iPhone 6 plus right here and as you can see on the screen of the Apple watch we've got this like QR code sort of thing so if I just go into my apps here and go into the Apple watch app good afternoon and then we'll click start pairing and then we want to us to pop that over the actual watch itself and there we are your watch is been paired so I just zoom out a little bit and then it just says set up Apple watch on which wrist do you want do you wear the Apple watch so I'll be wearing it on my left wrist so I'll click left accept that now I've got to accept the agreement now agree that yes <laughs> okay okay so I've just had to set up the actual messaging part of it with a app specific password because I have two-step verification on this now it's asking if I want location services so okay to that and then this is just going on about Siri so I'll just click OK diagnostics OK and it's asking me to want a passcode yes okay so it's just saying do you want to install all the apps so I'll say install all and then it's synchronizing so that is the actual synchronization process now so what I'll do is I'll come back shortly when it has done all that right so here we are with the watch set up and as you can see it's on my wrist and if we just tap this here up pops the time now I've picked the Mickey time because I think that's quite nice um, so just a quick tour really of the watch itself what you do is you press this crown in here and this will automatically go to the app screen so then you can just go around and find the app you particularly want so I've got quite a few apps on here you even got things like Amazon which is quite interesting Oops. Um, you've got the uh, remote for the camera on your iPhone you've got the calendar music maps you've also got things like stopwatch tap on there alarms rather so that's the alarms no alarms are set up press that and it goes back to the home screen you've got the um, stopwatch there I think that's a stopwatch yep that's like a stopwatch um, and the timer yeah and then you've got things like um, Instagram you've got your passbook your photographs you've got your settings there and all kinds of apps that are supported on your iPhone quite often there is the actual uh, iWatch sorry the Apple watch rather not iWatch app available for it as well and there's quite a lot of apps already supporting the Apple watch you can see you've got your weather there and that so what we do to go back to the watch is just tap this button here and it goes back to the watch you've got your contacts just go back out of there you can go up, press pull up and then you bring up your glances That's yeah recent photographs on Instagram and then you can uh, pull down there and you've got your, your notifications and then you can just press that and go back to your home screen press it again and go straight back into the watch now when you sort of leave it on for a few seconds without touching it it will actually go off the, uh, the screen hopefully 
I'll just demonstrate that. As usually, it doesn't want to. Maybe not, but it does actually go off the screen um, when you when you look away from it. If you pull it down sort of to the side, yes, there we are. It's gone off, as you can see there now. Just gone off. Okay, you can either tilt your wrist up and it will come on. Hopefully. Never wants to work when you're on camera, does it? As you can see there. Oop, it's gone off again. The easiest way, actually, if you doesn't come on just to tap the screen it'll come on and from here like I said you've got your crown uh, you've got your button there for your most recent contacts now to change the actual clock face we just hold down here and then you can swipe across and you can change the clock face any particular clock you like so we just have the standard analog watch there go back into it hold it down hopefully there we are got your fancy ones there, a digital looking one there, with a little butterfly. Another analog clock, various different types, utility, modular, simple, motion, astronomy, uh, colour, solar, choreographer, choreographer um, Mickey, and then extra large. And then you can have custom ones, which really is just the same as these, but more customised, you know, different sort of customised options. So I'll just go back to Mickey, hopefully. There we are. And then if I just take it off my wrist, we can see straight away it'll ask for the passcode because it's got passcode on. If it's on your wrist, then it will keep, um, keep unlocked for you. On the back here, we have got the sensors for the heartbeat, heart rate and all that type of thing, which is quite handy. And then when you fasten it onto your wrist, it's a bit tricky with this, uh, this wrist strap because you, you have to kind of fasten it first and then thread the loop in on itself. So there we are. I just tap this again. Just have to put the passcode in. And there we are, the passcode is in. The activity bring up the glances and then we'll just and we've got the power there heart rate so what we'll just do is it measure my heart rate for me let's keep it quite still 103 <laughs> that's pretty high and then I've got um, the function here so I can go into and put on uh, aeroplane mode do not disturb or silent on my actual phone and then I can also ping my phone as you can hear it just going off there in the background that's my iphone pinging so i can always find it if i lose it and you've got the music app as well the heart rate your power uh, that's your exercise or activity your calendar and there we are so that is the apple watch so far i'm quite impressed with it um so i'll keep on playing with it and see how it goes and come back again soon with another updated review Thanks very much for watching. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it that thumbs up and you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you thought as well. Be sure to subscribe, that way you get kept up to date with all our brand new videos as soon as they're released. Check out our blog by clicking this button over here and you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook too, at Supreme Gadgets. Also, if you want to watch another of our videos, click on it, right here. You sure can't tempt me? Go on, click on it. Alright then, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.